Hey guys, uh, my name is Corbin and I'm the middle half of Spider Couple. Amber couldn't be here today, she's feeling a bit under the weather and she's been incredibly busy with our foster kids and our daughter and she's just feeling a bit, a bit overwhelmed. So we haven't had a video out in about a week and a half. We've been really wanting to get this video out so I thought I would just uh, go for a solo today. And uh, this one's gonna be an interview with Amy of Pet Rock and Roll. She's been doing these awesome videos um, called Pet Rock Asks and so we thought we'd return the favor. So stick around. Hi Spider Couple, thank you so much for inviting me to do this collaboration with you. I'm Amy and my channel name is Pet Rock and Roll. All right, so Amy, what would you say is your top five favorite species? Hmm, see now, that's quite hard because I love them all. But I suppose I'd have to go with um, brachypelmas. I love brachypelmas, I love how docile they are. And just, you know, they're, they are, they're beautiful, beautiful tarantulas. So we'll go with the brachypelma harmori, uh, which I do have, I have two. I have a second probably would be, Maybe the green bottle blue Chromatopelma cyan pubescens. I absolutely adore that species. Um, and then I would probably say the Histocrats gigas, um, which I do have. I have uh, one of those. She is 11 and I've had her since she was a sling. Um, and see, I'm trying to think of the ones that I've got. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, Carabina versicolor, that's got to be on that list, most definitely, and I have two of them. Uh, they're, they're slings at the moment, but yeah, I have two of them. And maybe the last one is probably one that I don't have, which is a Lassiodora parahibana. Um, they are so underrated, um, but they're beautiful and they get quite big as well. So my biggest tarantula in my collection is my Histocrats gigas, um, but I would like to get an LP, maybe see if I can get something that's bigger th than my H gigas. That would be, that would be kind of awesome, do you not think? <laughs> I hope that answers that question for you. All right, question number two. What are your favorite things about the hobby? Um, I think that what's going to be top is growing a tarantula. So basically buying a sling and growing it on to be an adult and watching the changes, particularly with species like the Carabina versicolor or the uh, green bottle blue, just because of how dramatic the change is. Um, because they look totally different from being a, a sling to being an adult and I love that I love that and I also love how kind of proud I feel that I've managed to get a sling up to a grown adult so yeah that's that's definitely my top favorite thing uh, about the hobby um, maybe the other thing would be as well the adrenaline rush that you get especially when you're rehousing yeah that's pretty awesome <laughs> Yeah, that's interesting you say that because that is one of our favorite things also. Almost every tarantula that we've ever owned, we bought as slings and we've raised them up to adults. And I just love to watch them grow. It's one of my favorite things, so I totally agree with that. Okay, so question three, Amy, how many pets do you have? Well, I've got 10 more pythons and I think I'm at 30, four spiders, also got two tortoises, and a budgie, which I'm sure you might be able to hear, a daegu, a gerbil, a dog, yeah, so quite a few. Um, not sure what that totals up, brain's not functioning yet today, um, but yeah, quite a few. I think I'm kind of at my limit now um, until I get my animal room sorted, which, um, fingers crossed, hubby is in the process of getting that done for me. Can't wait. So yeah, lots of animals anyway. <laughs> wow, so if I did my math right, that put you at 50 animals. And that video you just released about the Inverse Show, I'm sure that just bumped you up even higher. And you've got us beat by quite a bit. We have 33 tarantulas last time I counted. 
We have a couple snakes, um, a dog, and a gerbil. So that's awesome. All right, Amy, last question. What would your advice be to new keepers? First and foremost, research. Research the animal that you're looking at getting. Um, don't just get it on a whim. You need to really look into you know, how you need to care for it. Make sure that you have the right enclosure for it. Set the enclosure up before you bring the animal home um, to make sure that it's spot on and you don't need to purchase anything else to go with it. Um, so that would be my top recommendation, definitely. Research, research, you can never do enough of it to, you know, it's just a given really, isn't it? Um, and from my own personal experience, my, my other bit of advice would be to feed your tarantula the day before you intend to rehouse it. A hangry tarantula <laughs> is not a good idea when you want to rehouse. So yeah, definitely feed it the day before you rehouse it. Always works, or seems to work well for me anyway. <laughs> I totally agree. And funny thing, I've never actually considered feeding my tarantulas before I rehouse them, but it makes perfect sense. Uh, that's something I'm gonna have to implement in the future. Hey, so thank you so much, Amy, for doing this Q&A with me. It's been a lot of fun. Amber tells me to tell you hi. And for all you people that haven't subscribed to Pet Rock and Roll, I highly recommend you do it. Her channel is absolutely awesome and we love it. So until next time, thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me on your channel. It's been an absolute pleasure working with you. I think you guys are amazing um, and I'm really, really happy to work with you um, and support each other. It's great. So until we speak again, take care. Bye. Mm -hmm.